Hi and welcome to our new video. Today we are going to be demonstrating how to use the new Q&A feature on Microsoft Teams. Now we briefly discussed this new experience in our updates video so if you haven't already watched please go ahead and have a watch as there are still some amazing updates on their way in 2022. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to add the new Q&A feature to a meeting that we've already organised here in the calendar. So we want to go ahead and click it into edit and we want to add a new tab at the top here for the Q&A feature. So when we go ahead and add this into our meeting, it gives you different options where you can decide how you want attendees to participate. The button at the bottom here allows you to moderate attendee conversations so any questions that participants have will go into the review section which we will show you. Then we want to go ahead and click on save. So now we are in the tab itself, we can send a welcome Q&A before the presentation meeting starts. And as you can see at the top, there are three sections. In review, where any attendee questions will be directed for moderation, published, and then any questions or comments that have been dismissed on the end there too. So once we've gone ahead and posted that message, we can then go ahead and join in the meeting and let any participant join participants join in as well. Then at the top of the meeting we can see different tab icons. The Q&A one there is the little chat bubble icon so we're just going to go ahead and click on that and you'll see it looks very similar to the big tab but it's just obviously smaller because we're in a meeting and you still have the same three headings there. You can see our message that we posted and then you have the different filter options. So you can do all conversations or questions or you can do unanswered questions as well. If we then just go into all questions, we can then see any questions that have been asked um, and we're just going to go ahead and respond to this. You can also do a reaction. So where the thumbs up icon is, you get six different emojis that you can react to. Then if we just go ahead and click on the little chat bubble, we can then write our response to the question. Once you've written out your message, all you have to do is press post and then everyone then can respond again or they can react, they can mark it as best answer, reply, or again, use the emojis to respond. You can then with the three dots, either edit the response or you can delete it as well. And then the three dots at the top here, you can close the conversation, pin the conversation or delete the conversation. When you pin it, it comes up right at the top. So if it's a really important or really relevant question, it can go right at the top there for everyone to see. As you can see in the in review section, no one has posted any messages, but if we want to post a message, we just go up the top here and we can either click on start a discussion or ask a question. So we've just clicked on start a discussion. So here is the same principle as asking a question. Literally just type out the discussion that you want and then people can respond in whichever way they want. Now, once this is posted, it will come up straight into published and people can respond. Um, the three dots on our message here will enable us to edit, delete, close the conversation and pin the conversation again. And there's three dots up at the top here as well, which we can then edit the Q&A name or we can remove the Q&A from the meeting as well. So that is everything for today's video. I hope this has been useful and please remember to subscribe for more tips and tricks.